Okay, so tonight's question comes from um, Alicia. Alicia has um, sent me a question. They're having some issues with um, bedtime resistance. So um, we find, well, you know, it's pretty normal for us to have um, resistance with our, our children, you know, in regards to bedtime, mealtime, and going to the toilet because they're pretty much the only activities that um, you know, children can do by themselves. You can't force them to go to the toilet, you can't force them to eat, and you can't force them to go to sleep. So this um, is one tip or activity that you can do with older children um, to help get them you know, less resistance at bedtime. Um, I always talk to my clients about incentives to encourage good behaviour. Um, they're not the same as bribery, which encourages bad behaviour. So small little gifts will grease that wheel of cooperation and can reverse um, you know, any type of resistance before it even um, occurs. So I'm going to talk today about star charts. Now, I've used star charts a lot with my kids growing up. Um, sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't work. Um, most of the time they didn't work because they just didn't understand it or they're a little bit too young. So this works really well with kids that are three and older if you're having some resistance. So with star charts, just pick three behaviours that you want to encourage. So two behaviours that they're already doing really, really well and one that is a little more challenging. And have a family meeting um, and just say to your child, you're doing so many great things. There's a few that we see that are kind of hard. So mummy or daddy or mummy or whoever have a fun idea to help you do them better. And describe what you want to do. If they are a little bit older, they may already be able to pick out one or two things that they can do around the house or a behaviour that you want to change. So ask their opinion of the best way to keep track of all of the good things that they do. No, should mummy put a stickers on stars on a chart, get marbles in a jar as a reward or something that they can collect in their pockets? My kids are mad for the dominoes at the moment. So decide together on the good reward. Once they have 10 stars or 10 of that item, then give them a trip to somewhere special. Get an ice cream to the park, special toy they can pick out at the shops, um, whatever you can think of. Make your chart together, decorate it with fun pictures, cut out of magazines, things that your child loves, not stuff that you think they love or that you love. Go to the shops together so they can pick out that extra star stickers, anything she likes best and that's really important because they are the one that is driving this. Hang this chart in a very visible place. Let your child place the star on the chart each time he or she completes that task. And every couple of weeks have another meeting, praise your child on the progress and change the behaviour that he or she is working on. This keeps it interesting, it keeps it up to date and the visual praise is massive each time your child walks past it. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps and if you have any questions feel free to comment below or touch base amanda at groovybabies.com.au. Bye.